Welcome to the 2020 Autocar Awards. Now, normally, we'd be inside that huge building with hundreds of other people giving out gongs to our illustrious award winners. But this year, what with, you know, one thing and another, I'm afraid that's not possible. So let's head inside out of this miserable weather and get on with the 2020 Autocar Awards, sponsored kindly by Instavolt. So here we are in an online special to celebrate the very best cars the industry has created during the past year and, and this is why the Autocar Awards are like no other, celebrating the people who made them. And I'd like to start with some glamour and Autocar's Design Hero Award. Great design brings cars to a much wider audience and our Design Hero Award recognises an individual who has made that principle work brilliantly. Our design hero for 2020 is Ikuo Maeda, Mazda's head of global design. He's overseen a generation of Mazdas that can be traced back to the 6th of 2012 when the company introduced its Kodo design philosophy to go with its all new range of cars underpinned by Skyactiv technologies. From then until now, we think Mazda has been introducing the best looking range of cars out there crowned recently by the new three hatchback, and that's all credit to Maeda-san and his team. Our second set of winners are what we call our game changers, each a winner for bringing new standards to a hard fought class or for design conventions to bring unexpected benefits to buyers. Our first game changer is the Polestar 1, the very first car, hence the one, from new electrified sporting brand and part of Geely Automotive Group, Polestar. The One is a luxury coupe with a difference. It's a plug-in hybrid with spectacular performance, a fabulous interior and just the right amount of nerdy detailing to talk to enthusiasts. It is a striking way to launch a new brand. Our second game changer is the Aston Martin DBX. Now, Aston has not been without its challenges of late, but it's also worth bearing in mind that it has been without an SUV too. Well, the DBX is at last here to change all of that. Built on a new platform and in a new factory, the DBX is an entirely new departure for Aston Martin and given the global popularity of 4x4s, should become perhaps the most valuable part of what looks like becoming a reassuringly broad Aston Martin model range. The radical thing about our next award winner, the Porsche Taycan, is what it doesn't change. The Taycan is a full performance battery electric vehicle from a company partly famous for its charismatic six cylinder engines. But you only have to spend a few minutes in the Porsche Taycan's company to know that it behaves exactly like a Porsche should, in that it has exceptional performance and brilliantly engaging handling to back up its smooth zero tailpipe emission drivetrain and the kind of high quality that we've come to expect from Porsche. Finally then, the Ford Puma. The Puma is unique among compact crossovers in that it is great to drive, a real rarity among small, tall vehicles. It's also very well priced and equipped, but it is the dynamism that Ford is famed for that means the Puma earns its place among this year's autocar game changers. Our next award goes to and is named after a brilliant engineer. The Harry Mundy Award for Engineering invokes the name of Harry Mundy, the engineer who designed much of the Lotus Twin Cam engine, BRM's iconic Grand Prix V16, and Jaguar's amazingly refined V12. He also served for eight years as technical editor of Autocar. The winner of 2020's Mundy Award is Frank Welsh, Volkswagen's technical development boss. Few cars carry as much pressure in their development as the new Volkswagen Golf, but Frank has now been involved in no less than five generations of them, including the all-new Mark 8, on which VW has done a fine job. We love Frank for being a champion of GTI and R models and ensuring enjoyable driving dynamics remain at the very heart of Volkswagen as the company expands into making more models in more classes than ever. Frank's now also overseeing Volkswagen's new ID electric models, which gives him quite some in -tray. So we hope you'll find time to celebrate this one. The next award is our Editor's Award, which is chosen by our editor, Mark Tischel. This year's award goes to Adrian Hallmark, CEO of Bentley. Hallmark joined Bentley in 2018 and quickly put the company on an upwards trajectory, achieving a major swing in taking the company from the red and into profit between 2018 and 2019, even managing a record profit in the first quarter of 2020. Now, like most companies, Bentley has suffered at the hands of the coronavirus, but one can only imagine how much worse it would have been if Adrian hadn't got it into the shape it was in in the first instance. Our congratulations to Adrian. Here is what he has to say. So first of all, I'd just like to say a big, big thank you to Autocar 
for this fantastic award for myself and for the team at Bentley. Particularly, there's nothing better than winning a competition that you didn't know that you were in. And secondly, it's granted on my birthday, so it's a nice present. Thank you very much. Since coming back to Bentley just over two years ago, we walked straight into a, a pretty critical crisis situation that was internally driven to a large extent. We managed to get through that with a great sense of team spirit and a very clear approach to the business. And in parallel, we then had to start for the 2019 period looking at a potential hard Brexit, another crisis that would damage the company. And through that time, we were able to not only think about the survival of the company through these two steps, but also about the future beyond 100 years. We were formed in 19, uh, Centenary was in 2019, of course, and we have a clear plan for getting carbon neutral, sustainable materials, and to further our lead in the luxury marketplace, all in the middle of a crisis situation. And then came the third shock, COVID-19. Now, the good news is, of course, none of these things put us off track. They do delay certain decisions. They do hurt us a little bit in the short term. But that long-term vision for the brand is crystal clear, and we're determined to stick with it. So again, a big thank you from the whole team of Bentley, from me in particular, and rest assured that the next 100 years will be quite different to the last 100 years. In fact, the next 20 will be radically different. More electrification, more sustainability from our operations to our projects to our supply chain, and a lot more excitement to come as well. Sincere thank you. Next is our Lifetime Achievement Award. This goes to Peter Horbury, a man whose design career stretches back more than 40 years. Today, Horbury is the Executive Vice President of Design at Geely, overseeing Geely and Link & Co's products, continuing a loose association with Volvo that stretches back to 1979. Peter spent a long time in the early 2000s as the head of design studios at Ford's premier automotive group, but is perhaps best known for his work at Volvo in the 1990s, moving away from its boxy designs into a sleeker new design era and establishing some themes that continue at Volvo to this day. Our huge congratulations to Peter. Now for some awards for some serious driver's cars. In our view, cars are built first and foremost for driving, and the better they go, the better they are. So to identify the best of them, we stage two flagship performance car tests every year. One for sub £35,000 models and one for all comers. It's the kind of test that Autocar invented well over 30 years ago. And like all of our testing, is still carried out more thoroughly than pretty much anybody else. The first competition, Britain's best affordable driver's car, was won by the Mazda MX-5. This contest represents the real car market heartland for our readers. Front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, they are all welcome. And the MX-5 took the victory because it embodies everything an affordable driver's car should be. By beating its peers, the MX-5 earned itself a place in our main best driver's car contest for all price ranges, held over three days at Anglesey Circuit and the brilliant driving roads nearby last autumn. And the winner? It's the Aerial Atom, the lightweight two-seat Sportster that, now in its fourth generation, is not just better than ever, it's more rewarding than we could ever have possibly imagined it would become. Now for another of our three major awards. It's the Sturmey Award, named after Henry Sturmey, the man who invented Autocar 125 years ago. He saw the potential for cars back in 1895 when there were less than 100 of them in the country. And it's a diverse award with winners such as Tesla, Ariel's boss Simon Saunders, the man behind the atom we mentioned earlier and we'll see again, and Renault design chief Lawrence Vandenacker. The Sturmey Award recognises an individual who we believe has brought the highest technical standards to his or her area of the industry. This year, our award winner is Land Rover's Chief Creative Officer, Professor Jerry McGovern. Most recently, you'll have seen Land Rover's design team's efforts in the shape of the exceptional new Land Rover Defender, but during his tenure, Jerry has also overseen a complete overhaul of both Land Rover and Range Rover lineups and a vast increase in the sales volumes of both. Here's what Jerry had to say. Growing up in Coventry all those years ago, aspiring one day to become a designer seems an eternity ago. And to think I would be recognised by the world's oldest and arguably the best car magazine is quite humbling. I'm not known for being humble, but on this occasion I am truly humbled. 
Throughout my career, I've always championed the importance of design and its ability to transform business while enriching people's lives. As a creative person, I've never been interested in designing ordinary vehicles or commodities. I've always wanted to be involved with creating products that people have a positive emotional connection with. I must thank Land Rover more than any other brand I've been associated with for giving me the opportunity to do exactly that. Because as you know, Land Rover don't do ordinary vehicles. Over the years, Autocar have been great advocates of me and my team's work, and through passionate journalism, they have built a loyal readership who want to understand the stories behind the vehicles we create. And of course, it would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the wonderful designers and engineers I've had the privilege to work with over the years and will continue to do so. Along with visionary figures like Ralph Spett and my good friend Ratan Tata, both of whom have entrusted me with the reimagining of the Land Rover brand. So thank you, Autocar, and to you, the readers, for this personal recognition for my work spanning the last 40 years. However, it is not over yet, and maybe, just maybe, the best is yet to come. Now it's time to celebrate Autocar's outstanding UK leaders, people who've used exceptional skills to motivate colleagues and help make their cars or companies more successful. Our first of four outstanding UK leaders, SEAT's Richard Harrison, scooped this award once before, back in 2018, off the back of growing the Spanish brand sales by 20%. Last year, in a UK market down 2%, SEAT's sales rose again by almost 10%. Richard has overseen the launch of a string of desirable models that are nice to drive and easy to live with, and is a worthy second time winner. Next is David Peel, the Managing Director of Peugeot UK, who has overseen the resurgence of the Peugeot range since joining the company in 2016. David has stopped forcing through month-end deals and discounting to give Peugeot's a rarely seen improvement in residual values, and ensured that customer service is so good that Peugeot now scores exceptionally well in customer satisfaction surveys. With a raft of new models and a very clear direction on electrification, confidence at Peugeot is high. So our congratulations to David. Which brings us to another member of the PSA group. Stephen Norman was the Senior Vice President of Sales at PSA before being appointed Managing Director of Vauxhall in 2018. And in no time at all, he has helped transform the fortunes of a company that routinely ran at a loss and was suffering falling sales. Under Norman, the rot has been stopped. Dealer profitability is up by a third. Discounting has been stopped. Low profit sales into car fleets have been cut. And the target over the next two years is to return Vauxhall to taking more than 10% of all UK car sales. Congratulations, Stephen. Our last outstanding UK leader comes from outside the world of road cars and from the world of motorsport. West Surrey Racing, or WSR, has for nearly 40 years been winning championships. The likes of Ayrton Senna, Mika Hakkinen and Rubens Barrichello all won titles in British Formula 3 under WSR. And in more recent times, it has had great success running BMW's British Touring Car Championship entry. Our winner is the man who leads it all. WSR boss Dick Bennett, who has most recently overseen the last manufacturer of BTCC titles for BMW and has taken Colin Turkington to the last two driver titles in the championship too. And that leads us nicely into our next award, our motorsport hero. Our love of cars naturally embraces motorsport, which is why we are proud sponsors of the British Touring Car Championship. And our motorsport hero this year comes from the BTCC, and it's the aforementioned very brilliant Colin Turkington who wins it. Turkington won the BTCC title last year in the most dramatic of circumstances, coming through from the back of the pack to take the points he needed after seeming down and out just a race earlier after being punted out of contention. It was Turkington's second consecutive title and his fourth overall, which equals Andy Rouse's record, all in an era that has never been tougher or more competitive. Engineering innovation has always been at the heart of UK industry. And in the automotive sphere, we are experiencing change like at no time since the dawn of the motor car in this emerging world of connected, autonomous and electrified vehicles. 
The winner of our Innovation Award for 2020 is a company you may not yet have heard of, but which has a team of more than 30 people based in Coventry taking on the biggest companies in the world. They are leaders in first and last mile automotive technology. We are backing Origo's self-driving vehicles as being set to change the way we transport people and just as significantly goods on the first or last stage of their journey to and from transport hubs. Now I told you earlier we'd see the Aerial Atom again and it's here for its second award of the year having recently become an Autocar 5 star road test car. And so to used cars. In years ending with zero, we tend to reflect on the decade just gone, as well as looking at what is to come. So the theme for our used car award was to name the used car of the decade. The winner, chosen by our used car guru, James Ruppert, is the Mercedes-Benz A-Class. During the past decade, this has become such an exceptionally strong used buy because there is bags of choice for buyers who will get strong equipment levels and plenty of desirability from this small Mercedes-Benz. Now for an award you chose. Earlier this year, our contributor and legendary road tester, Andrew Frankel, named the 50 cars you should try to drive before you die. Then we opened the vote to you to pick the one you'd most like to drive, and you chose, and I don't blame you, the McLaren F1. Finally then, to the big one. Autocar's most prestigious award is the Isagonis Trophy, named after one of Britain's and the world's greatest car visionaries, Sir Alec Isagonis immortal in all car history as the inventor of the Mini, which went on to influence the design of most of the world's affordable cars. Isagonis embodied practically every virtue you'd look for in a winner, originality, creativity and courage of the highest order. He set a standard of achievement anyone at the top of the car business would do well to emulate. Autocar's Isagonis trophy recognises extraordinary achievements by those at the top who dare to steer an industry that employs over 5% of the developed world's working population and spends hundreds of billions of pounds on research and development across the world. And this year, the Isagonis Award goes to Volvo's Hawk and Samuelson. Since becoming Volvo's chief executive eight years ago, Volvo has doubled its annual car output to 700,000 units raised its brand image onto a par with Audi, BMW and Mercedes. It has restored its weakened grip on the US market by opening a factory there, made big inroads into China and expects its car range to comprise 50% pure electric models by 2025. Holcomb, over to you. Thanks a lot. Uh, I'm very honored and glad to get this very prestigious award and looking into have uh, received it before me made me very proud to, to get this award. So thanks a lot to the jury for this recognition. Now, I first thought, of course, also this is uh, also an award for Volvo because Volvo has in the last uh, 10 years really transformed uh, uh, very rapidly from a rather small car manufacturer to a much bigger and, and also with a much more bigger global presence. So it, I think it's also recognition for that development of Volvo. This award is, of course, also a recognition of the transformation within the company. We have taken big step towards electrification. We want to be leader in this very important development. Uh, we have also taken uh, big steps into globalization, production in China, production in the US, and of course, expansion of production in Europe. One of the achievements where I'm uh, most uh, proud of personally, I would say the establishment of the production in uh, Charleston. After many years of selling cars in the US, finally we are really a domestic car builder now and, and that's something I'm very proud of. And I'm quite sure we have in the pipeline some activities that uh, will also probably award people here in the future. And, uh, we have now set firm course uh, into being leaders in the transformation of our industry. Electrification, I'm quite sure now after the corona crisis our customers will not come back to the showrooms uh, asking for the same cars that they were buying before the crisis. I think this will accelerate. People will ask for new electric connected cars and, and uh, Volvo has taken the position, let's be fast in this transformation, let's lead that. And I think that gives also the opportunity for a lot of people here to be rewarded in the future. 
So once more, thanks a lot. This is a, a great uh, motivation, bringing energy to the whole team here at uh, Volvo Cars. And with that, we wrap up the 2020 Autocar Awards, kindly sponsored with our thanks by Instavolt. Autocar's huge congratulations to all of our winners and our thanks to you for your support of Autocar, not just this year, but every year. You'll find Autocar on the newsstands, on subscription, postal or digital at autocar.co.uk and on YouTube. The awards will be back in 2021 and next time we hope to be celebrating back again in that building behind me. But until then, bye for now.